Hey guys, thank you for stopping into my YouTube page. My name is Kramer89. I'm a fairly small streamer on Twitch. And today I'm going to be showing you how to add sound commands that your chat can play uh, into your stream. Uh, I'm going to be using Touch Portal to do this. Um, there is a free version, however, you aren't going to be able to do this on the free version. You need the Pro. Uh, so I'll jump over and show you their website quickly uh, Just kind of show you what it is if you don't already know I do have another video on it But without further ado Yeah, so this is the touch portal website. So as you can see here, it's basically using your phone adding buttons That will essentially act as a stream deck for you um, It does a whole lot of different things, but if you click on pricing You'll see the pro upgrade is a one-time payment so it's a lifetime license and it's only $14 personally I think it's well worth it the upgrade allows you to have multiple different folders as well as changing your grid size so I think the free versions two by four or two by five and you get two pages um, so yeah, in my mind, personally, for me, definitely worth it. Uh, so we'll switch over to the app here. This is the page that it will load up on. Uh, I've got, obviously, my setup here. Use it mostly for shout-out, sound effects, and there's a bunch of Twitch tools that I use it for. Also, have a Pokemon game in my chat, so that will just throw a Pokeball. If anyone wants to see more of that, I can show you, but for the sound commands, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the events tab. I already have a folder set up there. Uh, you can add a folder if you wanted to, or you can add an event. I'm going to go into that folder because that's where I want the event to go. And we're going to go download this sound that we want to add. So we're going to add this one here. Uh, we're just going to add that one as the demonstration. So you go here. Uh, I think I already downloaded it. Yeah, so I already downloaded it, so I'm not going to bother re-downloading it because then I'll have two of those files. Jump back over to Touch Portal. So you'd be on that page. Events. Into the folder you want. Add. Add event. It's going to pop up a window that looks like this. So you're going to want to name it. Ha, uh, or name it whatever you want. You can type in anything here. I believe you can even have spaces. I'm just not putting in spaces. And then the event. This is what the event slot here is what's going to trigger this event. So if you scroll down, there's going to be options for Twitch. Uh, so you can do channel point redemptions if you wanted to do it that way. Um, or you the way I'm going to do it is on a chat message event. Um, I'm going to select what level of person you want to be able to trigger this. So if you want everyone to trigger it, leave that box checked. Uh, if you want subscriber only to be able to do it, check that. Uh, moderate mods, or if you want only you to do it, or VIPs, you, you get the point. Um, contains. This drop down menu, if you only do contains, any time whatever you type in to trigger it is set in chat, it will trigger. So for myself, I left it as that the first time, and I had to go in and change them all to equal to. The reason why is because I also have a command exclamation mark sound, which tells everyone what commands work for sounds. When you do that, it would trigger all of them at the exact same time, which you definitely do not want. Um, so we're going to name this Gotham, and that is what the trigger event's going to be. You can set a cooldown. Um, let's just do uh, let's do a thousand milliseconds, so it's not being spammed constantly. And then over here, uh, you're going to want to go to the media functions. 
click that drop down menu this is going to be what actions this event triggers so you want that event to trigger playing an audio it's going to give you another pop-up you're going to find your file that you just downloaded or whatever sound file it is that you want it will do mp3s mp4s wavs um what else does it do uh no idea what that is but aiff um anyway and you can also change the volume that you want it to play at i'm gonna leave that on 100 right now do that press save and that's it that's all you need to do um if you want to test it you have to make sure that the app is open on your phone if you don't have the app on your open on your phone this here is not going to show which means you won't be able to um you won't you won't be able to play any of your sounds so if we drag this over this is my OBS. Do you got him? Uh, I'm gonna turn on my desktop audio so you actually hear it. As you see, played perfectly fine. Um, I will show you one other thing. If you want to be able to have that sound separated out, the way I do it. You have to download a plugin called Application Audio uh, Output Capture. I can leave a link for the plugin if you need it. I will put it in the link below. Um, what this allows you to do is a window specific audio capture. So we're going to name this test so I know which one to delete because I already have this added in in most of my scenes. Click OK, and then it allows you to click on windows that you already have open. So you're going to want to find the one that says Touch Portal, which is right there. Click on Touch Portal. And then now, if we play it again, <laughs> Got it. see, it's now playing through that test. So if it's too loud, chat says, whoa, those are really loud. Turn it down. As simple as that. You don't have to go trying to figure out how to turn it down through your desktop. Honestly, don't know how to do it because I've done it this way. That audio specific capture is definitely worth downloading as well. Let me just get rid of that there. and But yeah. If you liked the video or you found it useful, hit the like button. Uh, you're obviously more than welcome to stop in on my Twitch anytime. If you have any suggestions for other things you'd like to find out how to do on Touch Portal, let me know. I can do specific ones or I can try to find out specific ones. Like, I've, like I say, I've got shout outs, I've got sound effect buttons. I've got ones that do um, switch scene and say type in chat saying that I'm going to be right back. Anyway, uh, that's going to be the end of this video here. Like I say, if you liked it, hit that subscribe button, hit that follow or uh, that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and sticking around. Hope everyone has a great day.